hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel based on african motives in this platform we shall be working on the question paper which was re actually written in april uh, 2021 that is uh, working on angular motion so you can actually consider this uh, question that you are having and uh, as you can see it's very very familiar with the question that we did which was written in uh, february 2022 so if you are to cross check guys these questions it's a matter of repetition as you can see so for you to be able to understand that you must be working with a lot of question papers so that uh, you'll be able to understand how they ask this question because it's a matter of repetition throughout okay anyways let us see what we're having there on 3.1 in excel rotates at a velocity of 15 reps per second and accelerates uniformly to a velocity of 525 reps per second in six in six seconds okay so we actually did a type of question like this where you'll be asked to calculate the angular acceleration of the axiom if you still remember where i talked about uh, the issue of uh, angular velocity and this is actually gonna give us because we have got uh, it is rotating it and then changed it to this so this is the initial that you're going to have but it's already in rest per second so it's just going to be 2 pi times uh, the reps per second that you're given okay so it's 2 pi times i mean rest per second it's 15. so this is going to give us 30 pi which is in rad per second remember angular velocity is measured in rad per second we move on to the other one which is the second velocity which is uh, the final velocity which is uh, omega 2 that's going to be 2 pi again times the number of rest per second already it's in rest per second so you just multiply to 5525 like this which is going to give us 1050 pi yeah this is right per second like this okay and the time frame which is six seconds so given the time also which is six seconds like this okay so that means in order for us to calculate the angular acceleration which is alpha remember is that one is just the change in angular velocity over the time taken so we're just going to subtract all right which is uh, omega 2 minus omega 1 that is the change over the time taken so we just substitute as they are in radians so this one you can just use it as a pi or you can use a decimal it's still one and the same thing all right omega 1 which is going to be 30 pi so if you use a decimal the answer is just going to be a slight different not that but it's the same thing so you can just use it like this okay or you can just use as decimals so if you use in terms of pi you're going to obtain 170 pi uh, this will be what per square second like this also you can choose to leave it like that 120 is it 120 this is 170 guys or oh, it can be 53 534.071 yeah which is in right per se square second so you can choose to write it like that or you can choose just to leave it as uh, in terms of pi so you can choose uh, between the two so that's what we had uh, let's see the other question which was on 3.12 all right which is now determine the angular displacement during the six seconds so this one is straight to the angular displacement and i talked about this that angular displacement is theta uh, this is the best formula for me guys i don't know if you have another one please use it but as for me it's best to just substitute these values because it's just adding there and so as you can see we have got these values guys they are there we have the values here so it's 30 pi or plus 1050 just put it in terms of pi or you just write it as a decimal still it's one and the same thing so you're going to have pi here over two times the time which is in seconds already the time is in seconds which is times six all right so 
you are going to obtain something like 3240 pi which is measured in radians so that's direct or it can be a decimal which is 101.78,76 yeah something like that if you want to write it as a decimal but you can just leave your answer in terms of pi for this type of equation it's not even a problem okay so that's what we had and also this one also in terms of pi you can leave it like that all right so let's see the other question on 3.2 what we are given if you are to take note an engine block weighs 775 kgs it is hoisted using a lifting device with a drum of diameter 325 millimeters very very similar to the question that we did in february 2022 that one it's very very familiar okay anyways let's just list the information so that we can uh, calculate the torque because you're given the mass here and the diameter that's what you're only given guys mass and diameter so and it's going upwards this one take note is being lifted so there's a gravitational acceleration yeah because it's going up all right so you're given a mass guys of the block which is uh, of the engine block 775 kgs here and we are given the diameter here so remember from the diameter this is going to be three to five millimeters like this that's our diameter there and um it's best for us to write this in meters so you just divide by 1000 for milli divide it's going to be 0 0.325 is now in meters so remember that when you're talking about torque you have to use the radius which is the perpendicular distance so this is your diameter so your radius is going to be this divided by two it gives us the radius which is 0, 0,1625 in meters so this is your radius here so we said um this is 3.21 and the question is asking us to calculate the torque exacted on the engine block so the torque in this case that's force times the perpendicular distance which is the force where are we going to have the force we do not have the force guys we have got the mass and the gravitational acceleration so this is going to be mass times gravitational acceleration that would be our force times the radius okay so that's going to be our new formula now which is mass 775 times the gravitational acceleration 9,8 times the perpendicular distance which is the radius which is 0 0.1625 so take note guys now that term um, once you have the formula everything is easier to to work with okay so this is just a matter of substitution on the formula then this was going to give us one three one two three not one three one two three four comma one eight seven five okay this is torque which is force in newtons and this is in meters so it's going to be newton meter like this um that is the case or oh, someone can round off to three decimal places. this is the answer guys so rounding off to three decimal places maybe according to the information um the, the instruction that depends with the instruction in your formula sheet so this is going to be five is going to change seven into eight that will be newton meter so remember torque is measured in newton meter like this so you can put it in like this or just write newton meter like this one and the same thing so that is newton meter for for the torque and the other question is to calculate the power calculate the power if the drum rotates at we're given the rotational frequency of 18 reps per second okay guys what can we do with this um, the reps per second of 18 uh, that's 18 reps per second what can we do with this how, how am i writing this guys wait okay how, what can we do with this to in order for us to calculate the power uh power is actually equivalent to the product uh, let me just write this way this is 3.22 it's equivalent to the product of torque and um, the angular 
Velocity, if you still remember the part that we talked about previously, where I talked about when you are given actually angular velocity, you can just multiply the two. So, in this case, we do not have the angular velocity, but we are given the number of waves per second. So, and we know that um, actually, when you are given the number of waves per second, it's going to be 2 pi times. N, which is now representing the revs per second. Um, I want to put it like an N so that it, it doesn't confuse us with the revs. No, no, no. These are revs per second. Okay. So that means we can calculate this aside. We can calculate this aside, which is 2 pi. 2 pi times uh, revs per second, which is 18. Yes, this one. 18 here so you're going to multiply by 18 okay so that is what you're going to have in place of w and the torque is there okay remember the torque guys we obtained uh, this value here so you're just going to substitute this value for torque here which is one two three four comma one eight eight like this multiply by two pi times 18 in place of what is right so that's the concept guys so at least uh, we can combine this using our calculator that's going to give us one three nine five eight three comma three seven four three like this and this is power which is measured in watts so you can just round off maybe put it to kilowatts because you've got three digits um this this one we cannot put like to megawatt because it will be a decimal so you just put it to kilowatts so it will be one three nine comma or many decimal places if we close this we need three digits after the comma so it's one two three so it's five eight three this three cannot change this three so it's just going to remain with a three like that and this is kilowatts so that is now the power in kilowatts so that's how they ask these questions guys on um, typical uh, basics uh, that you need to know uh, the, just the basics these are the basics that you actually need to know because these are question papers and any question can be rewritten from the ones that we are given uh, that we are doing now in another format or just a change of numbers and so forth but the same question and same application as you can see so that's it guys from Amazon African motives working on engineering science and for till we meet again